So, hey guys! So, um, I tweeted like 10 minutes ago that I was like, can I make a 7 things I hate about being a fangirl video? And a bunch of people tweeted me back and wanted it, so I was like, why the fuck not? So, <laughs> I was gonna make it anyways, but, um, I'll just make it now. So, <laughs> um, being a fangirl fucking sucks shit because there is often, like, more things you hate about being a fangirl than you actually like, and you don't get paid for fangirling, so it kind of sucks shit. But, um, anyways, the first thing that fucking sucks is when <laughs> people on Tumblr feel the need to comment on every single thing they reblog. It's 2013, use your goddamn tags. Jesus made tags for a reason, and this is that reason. Nobody wants you posting this a thousand times on a post. Nobody wants you saying the exact same thing the person before you said on a post. Like, why? But, like, some people just feel the need to comment on every single thing they fucking reblog. Just stop it. Stop. Stop before Jesus comes down from heaven into your room, taps you on the shoulder, and whispers in your ear to stop. Because it's really, like, stop it. Like, it's just enough. 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 Just use your fucking tags. That's all I ask. That's it. I understand if you have something really highly accurate to say, or someone makes some kick-ass tags that make everybody in the world cry oceans, and you want to post it on that post, Go the fuck ahead. But if you just want to post this, then go sit your ass down and eat some cookies. Because, no. <laughs> the next thing that I hate about Tumblr and being a fangirl, this, like, fucking sticker, the hijacked by the Castle Fandom sticker, stop it. It's 2013. We need to stop it. And if I see you posting that sticker on a post, I will literally... Go to your door, punch you in the face, run up to your room, delete that shit off your laptop, and never tell you how to get it ever again. Because, like, why is that necessary? It doesn't make any sense. Like, I want to reblog the post with the fucking stickers on it, and that's, like, obvious if I delete the sticker. So I can't even reblog the post if it's on there, and it's so stupid. There's actually a blog on Tumblr dedicated to everything that the Castle fandom hijacked. Because, like... What the fuck? Like, why is that necessary? Like, is the sticker really necessary? Just put, like, oh my god, this happens on Castle. Or put the actual gif of it happening on Castle. Don't put the goddamn sticker. Like, I can't. I can't. I can't. So, I guess that counts as, like, one thing. So, the second thing that I hate about being a fangirl is fan fiction because I hate fan fiction no matter what, no matter if it's really sucky or it's really good because there is some sucky shit ass fan fiction in this world and I literally, I can't, I can't deal with it. Like, why? Like, I'm sorry, but in my opinion, some people just should not write. Like, just stop it. Like, just please. Like, bad grammar in fan fiction, bye. If the if it's like AU and Castle and Becky have a kid or they she gets pregnant or whatever and they name and it's a girl and they have her name Joanna by um if it's out of character by if they make them say always like every like other sentence by like there's no need like oh Castle can you run to the store and get me toothpaste always why like, why is there a need for that? That's not, like, a sentimental moment. It's goddamn toothpaste. Like, come on now. And then, if they make her call him Rick, like, every other sentence, his name is Castle to her. It always will be Castle. When was the last time she called him Rick? Like, when she said, I love you? That I understand. But, like, even when in, in Always, and that was, like, a really intimate moment, still called him Castle. So his name is Castle. It's just, it's Castle. It's not Rick. It's not anything. No. It's Castle. Okay? I don't, I should just go to every person that does that and, like, 
punch them in the head enough times until they get that. Because, like, stop! Like, she doesn't... That's out of character for me. Because she doesn't call him Rick in the show every other time she speaks. Like, but... Yeah. And then you have that really great fan fiction that makes you cry, like, all the goddamn time. And you literally want to go to the writer's house and, like, kiss their feet. But then kind of punch them in the face because it's like, fuck your brain, you suck. For making me cry like all the time and then you have those stupid people not those stupid people but they're kind of stupid to me because it's really not fair you find a really good fan fiction and it's like 20 25 chapters you spend the entire afternoon reading it you add it to your updates list you scroll back to the top it hasn't been updated since 2003 and it's just like are you fucking kidding me right now like i just wasted my whole day this is really good and you didn't even end it like i can't i just I can't. So, number three about being a fangirl. If you're a fangirl, technically, you can't have an opinion because literally people will just be like, Oh my god! And, like, they'll be cats and claw your face off if you voice your opinion in your fandom. Because it's just, like, everywhere. Like, you want to say something, but you can't because people will judge you and then not like you because of... The thing that you just said. It's called an opinion for a reason. You don't have to agree with my opinion, but it's still my opinion. And my opinion might be better than your opinion, but whatever. So, yeah. So, number four on the list of things that I hate about being a fangirl is fandom drama. Because fandom drama is literally the fucking worst thing on the planet. Like, it's just... I can't. I can't handle it. Because one person will tweet it... And then everybody else will tweet it. And you basically have two groups of people. You have the people who complain about the drama and don't want it on their timeline and then leave. And they're like, fuck this shit, I'm out. And then you have the people who constantly keep tweeting about it, making it ten times worse, and assuming things that aren't even accurate and you, know, you don't even know is true. So everyone just needs to shut up and... Go eat some food, because really, like, draw it's not necessary. Like, why are we going to spend an hour on this when in, like, three hours a spoiler is going to come out and everyone's just going to be friends again? So, I really don't understand. So, yeah. The fifth thing that I hate about being a fangirl is fucking hiatuses. And we're in one right now because it's only July, and Castle comes back a month, uh, a month, fuck, I wish a month, two months from tomorrow, so we're almost there. But hiatuses literally suck shit. They suck zebra and every kind of shit that comes out of animals, but because it's just, it sucks. And then... You get to the point in the hiatus where you can't leave Twitter for like five minutes or you miss a spoiler or you sleep through it because it comes out at awkward times of the night and then you just cry a lot and then it makes it worse because you want it to be September now because you want to see how all the spoilers play out but you still have to wait because you don't have a time machine and you can't just like go into the future and get it so it just it sucks hiatuses suck no matter what show you're on and depending on how bad the cliffhanger is because most season finales end on a cliffhanger and depending on how bad it is depends on how much animal shit your hiatus sucks so <laughs> yeah so i would rate this hiatus as like zebra and elephant shit because we now know her answer but that just made it worse, honestly. So now it's basically like every shit that an animal shits in the planet. So, yeah. So the sixth thing that I hate about being a fangirl is the day your show comes back, or the day your show is on, it's literally the longest day of your life. And you, like... You just get emotional, you're emotional all day, and people can't say certain words to you, or you're gonna have a breakdown, and it's just, it's bad. And then, your show comes on, and it's great for an hour, and then you're back to hating your life, because you have to wait a week for the new episode, and you just want to, like, build a time machine, and just kind of go through the rest of the week, and shit, and then... I mean, during the week, you get sneak peeks and promo pics and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's not all that bad, but then that just makes you want the episode more. So, really, it is bad. It just, everything about being a fangirl, I've come to the conclusion, sucks shit. So, 
Yeah, and the seventh thing that I really hate about being a fangirl is that half your friends don't understand you. They don't understand why you're so obsessed with the show and why you're so obsessed with middle-aged actresses, actresses and they just don't understand your lifestyle. And you try to explain it to them and they think you're insane, but really you're just a person who is obsessed with middle-aged actresses actresses, I can't say actresses, actresses or actors, and you have no space on your phone because you have so many goddamn pictures of their beautiful, flawless face, and you dedicate your whole entire life to that show, and you don't give a flying single shit, but your friends judge you so hard for it, it's actually ridiculous. And unless you're friends with another fangirl, nobody understands you. And then, if let's just so happen you're out in public and something happens and the spoiler comes out you can't flip shit because then people will think that you are out of your living mind so basically that is the seven things that I hate about being a fangirl and I bet you there's a lot more but those are the main seven and yeah so that's basically it and I love you all and yeah so have a good day. I don't know how to end this. <laughs> so, yeah. So, all in all, being a fangirl, just, it sucks. And it's stupid. And I feel bad for anyone who's not a fangirl, but then I feel bad for people who are a fangirl because I'm the person that doesn't judge fangirls and actually understands them. So, yeah. So, um... That's it. Peace out.